The sellout is gone. I feel nothing. ANC Feichelnbalula, page under attack by Payne South Africans. ANC Secretary General Feichel Mbalula expressed deep sadness at Gordon's passing, praising him for his commitment to justice and democracy. However, the public's response has been far from uniformly sympathetic. But before we continue, I'd like to encourage you to kindly subscribe, turn on the post notification bell to stay updated as we bring you recent happenings from the heart of South Africa. Social media reactions reveal a strikingly different sentiment. Critics have taken to various platforms to voice their grievances, particularly focusing on Gordon's tenure at state-owned enterprises, Esweez. Justice is served. We lost our jobs at Esweez because of this man, one commenter wrote, highlighting widespread frustration with Gordon's role in the management of these institutions. Others were less restrained, with posts stating, Hell has gained a new member, and I hope he has a special place in Hell. There were also more pointed remarks about his legacy. I hope he doesn't privatize hell also, read one reaction. Praveen Gordon's approach to public sector reforms and his perceived role in the privatization and restructuring of Esquiz earned him a lot of haters. Critics argue that his policies contributed to job losses and economic hardship, fueling their current sense of vindication at his death. As the nation processes Gordon's passing, the polarized reactions highlight the contentious nature of his legacy. While he is remembered by some as a staunch defender against corruption and a key figure in resisting state capture, others see his tenure as marred by failures that exacerbated socioeconomic issues. The debate over his contributions versus his perceived failings is likely to continue, ensuring that his impact on South African politics and public life remains a topic of significant discussion in the weeks and months to come. As the dust settles on Praveen Gordon's passing, the sharp divide in public opinion serves as a potent reminder of the complexity that often accompanies leadership in times of national crisis. For every accolade of honor, there are equally piercing condemnations, reflecting the deep scars left by his policies, particularly around state-owned enterprises. Gord Hahn, a man both lauded and lambasted, remains a symbol of South Africa's turbulent political landscape, a figure whose actions left indelible marks on the country's economic and social fabric. The emotional outcry on social media, ranging from gratitude for his fight against corruption to scathing indictments of his role in job losses, underscores a broader discontent within South African society. The polarized reactions mirror a nation grappling with the very questions of governance, economic equity, and justice that Gordhan sought to address. In many ways, his legacy will remain a reflection of the country's ongoing struggle between progress and the painful cost of reform. As South Africa continues to reckon with these unresolved issues, the memory of Praveen Gordhan will undoubtedly shape future discourse, pushing the nation to confront its past while envisioning a more equitable future. His departure from the political scene does not mark the end of debate. It merely amplifies the need for introspection. In death, as in life, Gord Hahn remains a catalyst for conversation, and his impact will reverberate far beyond the present moment. Whether viewed as a hero or a villain, his influence is undeniable, leaving the country to grapple with what his legacy truly means for its future trajectory.